Hey, I want to take the time to apologize for this video in advance today. This is going to be a kind of angry, incoherent rant because I'm pretty pissed off. I'm not pissed off about exactly what I'm speaking about today, but other things that kind of lead me to this topic. What I want to talk about today is a lot of people that I've seen say there's no such thing as the gun community. The gun community is a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, usually the people you hear saying this are assholes who just don't want to do what it takes to be involved, uh, bigger channels, or people inside the gun industry. And these people just love to say there's no such thing as a gun community. They like say, oh, the people are too divided. No one agrees on everything. Well, no one has to agree on everything. I can be a part of a uh, community watch and not have voted for the same guy for president as the person next to me. Doesn't mean our community watch doesn't actually exist because we don't all agree on everything. Some of us aren't ideologues that are so locked into one goose-stepping type of thinking that we have to agree on everything. The gun community is very diverse, but it does exist. And you want to know how I know it exists? Because I see them. I'm part of it. I'm one of them. And I get to see what they do, not just at gun rallies. Now, I know a lot of the bigger channels out there and stuff act like, well, there's no such thing as a gun community. Because you see gun rallies as a place where, you know, you get your expenses paid to be there. You stand on a stage and let people get to see you for a little while. And that's how you see it. Then you mingle among the commoners. Because you don't actually see it as a member of the community that actually shows up wanting to do something. You see it as a PR event. But a lot of us just see it as a community gathering. And like I said, I've got to see what the gun community can do, and I've been a part of the gun community. Uh, if you get online, you'll see the gun community, the people that show up for chats, the people that show up for events, the people that show up for fundraisers, the people that go above and beyond. They are the gun community. Now, I know a lot of bigger channels and stuff do chats too, but if you actually pay attention to their chats, are they actually being a part of you when they do their chats? Are they actually coming together with you, or are they just giving you a presentation? A lot of their chats seem to be very self-serving and often just become nothing more than a sales pitch or a self-promotion video. They don't actually just sit down and have a conversation. So they choose not to be a part of the gun community. The people who say it doesn't exist, I say, fuck you up the ass, you piece of shit. Because it does exist. Now I know it's profitable for you to pretend it doesn't because if you admit that it does, you have to become a part of it or explain why you don't want to be a part of it. Like I said, I've been a part of it, I see what they do. Because of the gun community, I've been able to put guns in the hands of people that couldn't afford them, hundreds of people that couldn't afford them otherwise. That wasn't because of me, that's because of the community I'm part of. Because of the gun community, I've been able to put tens of thousands of dollars into charitable causes animal-related causes, veterans-related causes. That's not because of me. That's because of the gun community. In fact, we just donated $5,000 this uh, Sunday during the live chat to a local animal rescue. You think I could do that just me? No, I couldn't do that just me. That's because of the gun community. That gun community, a lot of people say, doesn't fucking exist. It does exist. You just don't want to be a part of it. Because here's the reason. If you actually became a part of it, people might start saying, you know, it's time for you to start giving instead of just taking. So many gun channels now are just built around fucking take, 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 take. And if someone else does give, they want no part of it. They don't want any part of it at all. Because if they did take part of it, if they did take part in it, other people might say, well, hey, you know, you're bigger. Why aren't you doing as much or more? A lot of people say they just don't want to do it because there's no profit in for them. It, that's part of it because there's no profit in it for them. But part of it is because if they actually became part of the community and people start actually asking them questions about, hey, if this person that's one third your size has done this, why haven't you done three times that? You know, so fuck these people that say there's no gun community. I've seen what the gun community can do. I've been a part of the gun community. People like gun websites, channels like Never Enough Ammo, my own, you know, groups like that. People that actually come together and actually try to do more as a community than we can do as an individual, those people make up the gun community. These channels that are out to make the most they can make for themselves and get the most power they can get, the most prestige they can get, you know, channels that go on and poison the revenue sources for all the other gun channels simply because the channel won't let them do their shady business practices across state lines. You know, I'm looking at you, the gun collective, you and your shady business practices and you're selling cheap Chinese shit for huge profits and trying to sell discount codes across the internet, which is fucking illegal. 
You know, and then acting like, oh, it's their fault. They're anti-gun. I'm a fucking martyr. I'm a victim. You know, all these big channels playing fucking victim. I'm so tired of the victims all the fucking time. Oh, this channel, they defunded me, or this platform took down my video, or deleted my picture. Oh, wah. Fuck you. Soldier on, uh, asshole. If you want to be a part of a platform and you know it serves the greater good, then maybe tweak things a little bit to where you can get away with what you need to get away with. I seem to be doing fine on these platforms that a lot of people want to demonize. Uh, and other channels that are just willing to spread the other channel, like channels like Gun Collective's garbage just because they think it's uh, beneficial to them, like TFB TV, uh, spreading their fucking garbage on uh, uh, Patreon. I was just like, this is fucking shameful. Why are you posting this shit? If you actually disagree with this uh, with Patreon so much and you agree with uh, the Gun Collective so much, how come neither of you have canceled your accounts? You know, it's all about profit. You know, a lot of smaller channels out there, and I'm not just talking about mine, I'm talking about a lot of even smaller than mine, count on things like that to be able to stay in the fight. And when you poison the fucking waters, everyone's not corporate owned like TFB TV or well connected in the industry like the Gun Collective. They don't have all those other sources of revenue. They count on all those people that give them a dollar a month to keep their channel running, to show up for the fight. So when you poison it, that's all you're doing is hurting those other gun channels. You're not hurting Patreon, you're not hurting PayPal, you're not hurting any of those. You're hurting those gun people. You're hurting the gun community. The reason you don't want to be a part of the gun community, the reason you pretend it doesn't exist, the reason you pretend it doesn't exist is because you don't want to be a part of it. But if you become part of it, people are going to start saying, what have you done for it? Other than what have you done for you? So for all those channels out there, like I say, that want to pretend there's no good gun community, you're fucking wrong. Because I've seen what the gun community is, I've seen what they can do. Unfortunately, you got people out there who care more about profit and power that they're more than willing to sell out the gun community if it benefits them. So for everyone out there who wants to say there is no gun community, there is a gun community. There's no disputing that. The only thing in question is, why are you not wanting to be a part of it?